Don't let your hectic schedule keep you from prioritizing prayer. Whether you're juggling work, family, or a list of to-dos, you can still make praying for others a priority in your life. I wanna show you how you can weave purposeful prayers throughout your day, taking those fleeting moments and making them a powerful connection with our Heavenly Father. I'm a bit embarrassed, but not too proud to admit that there have been times when someone has asked me to pray for them, share their prayer request and their heart with me, and I unintentionally forgot what they asked me to pray for them 30 minutes later. This kept happening, and so I decided it was time to be intentional about prayer because I wanted people to know that when they came to me, they could know that I was actually praying for them. So I wanna share six tips that I use and that you can use too to make prayer a priority in your day-to-day -day life. Listen for the Holy Spirit's prompting in your life. As you're going throughout your day, the Holy Spirit who lives inside us as Christians is gonna nudge our hearts to pray over certain people. He's gonna bring them to our mind. And I don't want you to just brush that off. Say a short prayer over them as you just move throughout your day. It doesn't have to be eloquent or long. Just lift them up to the Father. Pray for others via text. I know that you have gotten a text from a friend that says, can you pray for me about this situation or this thing that's going on in my life? Many times, if you're like me, you'll just text back and say, yes, I'll be praying for you. But what if you took it a step farther and you actually took that moment right then to text out a prayer to them or you did a voice me message to them and sent that to them. I have done this and, and people have done this for me and it is so powerful. I want you to try it. Stop and pray. There will be times when you're talking to a friend, she's sharing her heart and what's going on in her life and you really don't have the words to say. You don't know what to say to her, but you wanna be there for her and encourage her. Something you can do is to just to stop and say a prayer right then. Now, you might not have the words to say, but here's the neat thing. The Holy Spirit can pray for you and through you and give you the words to say that will encourage her and be exactly what she needs. I know this can be awkward, especially if there are other people around, but it is so powerful to be on the receiving end of someone just stopping and praying for you. I had a friend do this for me. I was sharing with her what was going on in my motherhood journey and I had something I was struggling with and she said, can I just stop and pray for you? It was so powerful and I want you to be purposeful in stopping and praying for others. Make a prayer list. Another way you can be intentional about praying for others is to write down what they've asked you to pray for them. Whether it's the notes on your phone, a sticky note that you can stick anywhere in your house or your car or at your office, or you could go as far as to have a prayer journal and write down prayers for the week. Whatever it takes for you to be intentional about remembering what people have asked you to pray for them, I want you to do that. Try different things if the first thing you try doesn't work and then move along to something else. You will figure out a system that works best for you and then when it's time for you to have intentional prayer during prayer time or quiet time, you can pull out your list and pray over those requests. If these tips have been helpful, I'd love for you to hit that like button. It'll just help spread this video to others who are trying to be intentional about their prayer life. Add prayer to your to-do list. I know it sounds crazy, but if you have a super busy schedule that is jam-packed and you want to be intentional about praying for others, you're gonna do whatever it takes to help you to remember and to prioritize that time. So don't be ashamed to write praying for others on your to-do list and then do it and check it off each and every day. Ask others how you can best pray for them. There are times when the Holy Spirit is gonna put someone on your heart. I want you to be intentional about praying over them and text them, call them, walk up to them, ask them, how can I best be praying for you? And you know what will make a difference? If you're actually purposeful in praying for them and then a next, another week or two later, you could circle back and say, hey, how's this going on in your life? How is that prayer request that we talked about? That is gonna make a huge difference in their life and they're gonna know that you've been praying for them. Now, some of these tips might be awkward or hard to do, especially when you first start doing them, but I promise once you keep doing them, they'll become second nature. It's time to step up your game, friend. I want you to turn your busy schedule and busy life into a prayer warrior's journey. I'm cheering for you.